go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cass. I'm from Millard South. And this is titled Sickness. If you experience mild to severe hysteria, extreme irrationability, fear of walking alone at night, or elevated estrogen levels, you may be suffering from woman. Please do not attempt to operate any motor vehicle, to overthrow male authority, or run for political offices. Please call 1-800-WOMANHOOD for a free consultation. I have a condition, and it's called female. Gives me boobs and hormonal imbalances. My job is to stand and look pretty. And if I don't, well, don't worry, because Maybelline has beauty in a bottle for only $24.99. Forget crop tops unless you're us. But show a little leg, you don't want to be prude. Boobs are good for selling cars and selling beer and selling cologne, but not for feeding a baby. <laughs> of course I'm only upset because it's that time of the month. And birth control isn't for pain, rather because I'm a... Leadership, leadership is reserved for the male species. Boys are boss, girls are bossy, get it? My v-neck is asking for it, but pepper spray is paranoia. And cameras are my best friend because my word is just not enough. Or is it that my word is just not loud enough? Because I am shouting with all I have, yet no one seems to hear me. Well, maybe that's just a side effect of my disease. Like wage gaps and roofies, right? My body is a subject of debate, whether it's actually mine or the mass of cells inside it. Are you a, or a baby killer? Polite means keeping opinions to myself and laughing at sexual jokes, laughing to hide discomfort, then puking up the words later to stay skinny. The word girl is followed by a bloody fist, the kind that spawns out of hateful mouths and dark motives. Maybe I could fight back if I was taught football instead of painting nails, or if language was enough. But no and stop don't mean much when you're infected. Wait, no. How can you tell me that the reason his hand cuffed my, bre cupped my breast before I could fill out a training bra is because my genetic makeup wasn't one of an X and a Y? Why is that one letter gives him the power to shove his tongue down my throat and shove poison down my body? It wasn't a disease that told me I should be thankful. Words that still cloud my thoughts and haunt my nightmares. Except I'm not dreaming, I'm remembering. Remembering every slimy finger that wrapped around my throat and rotted my skin. The reason I still can't stand the taste of a Hungry Jack's maple syrup his cheap cologne still choking me six goddamn years later. No disease took away my safety, sanity, or state of mind. So where's your cure for that, Doc? <laughs>